People lead busy lives, often leaving little time to date. That's where a professional matchmaker can help. Joining us now is dating and relationship advisor Miss Mimi from MyTopMatchmaker.com, and she's here to focus specifically on dating advice for men. Ms. Mimi, welcome back to the Hampton Road Show. Well, thank you, Chris. I appreciate okay, it. Okay, so it is Friday, thank and you. it's obviously a date night for a lot of people. Um, the first date, uh, take me through that, because it's been a while since I've dating, dated, and the things that you do and don't want to do, what's important on the right. first date? Right, and especially for men, on the first date, you want to come across with a level of confidence. Mm -hmm. And how you get that level of confidence is maybe do some research ahead of time and find a topic that you're passionate about, something that you really enjoy talking about, and then sharing that with your date, looking your date in the eye, and having a warm smile will always get you further and make you feel more comfortable, and it will create a strong appeal. Okay, that first date is going to be a lot of talking involved, a lot yes. of get to know each other. Yes. Um, the first impression is so important. Um, like I said to you, I'm a flower guy. Is that appropriate or not to maybe greet the woman with a flower or not? What would you say? I think that if that's something you would normally do, mm -hmm. absolutely. That will show the best light. If it's something that you're uncomfortable, stay away from it. Again, you want to come across as confident and warm. What is a good idea to, what is a good thing to do on a first date? Oh, there's so many things, but obviously you would like to go ahead and have dinner so mm -hmm. that you can be in an environment that can create a, a relationship and create conversation where you feel comfortable with. And of course, enjoy the food and have a good time. So look at it as just getting together and meeting some new people. Try to be yourself um, and create conversation. And then after the date is over, what do you do? Do you sit down and say, gosh, I really like her. Should I call? How do you rate a date? Well, first we're going to steer away from rating a date by numbers, by one or ten. Really? Or, that, yeah, is, you don't want to rate good. by numbers. However, you do want to be in touch with your inner feelings and that inner connection that you have. So if you, as a gentleman, because men are physical, if you feel the urge to want to kiss the lady, then that is a good sign that you're attracted to her and that date is going well. Well, then that means there has to be some chemistry. How do you know if there's chemistry uh, on your first date? Well, that's very true as well. Mm -hmm. Not only recognizing what's going on in yourself, but also realizing the person across from you, is that person leaning slightly forward when they talk to you? Are they reaching out towards you during the conversation? Are they looking you in the eye? Are they smiling? Are they having a good time? This is all a great barometer to show that there's some chemistry developing between you and between her. Okay, Miss Mimi, you are uh, a professional matchmaker. Tell me what you do at My Top Matchmaker. I'm a homemade, handmade mm -hmm. matchmaker, but I do give advice and I also help guide people into building a relationship for singles who are looking for that. And if you're looking for that, you can contact Miss Mimi at MyTopMatchmaker.com. Uh, find her online or also give her a call, 757 818 0192. Thanks for all the tip and advice, Miss Mimi. Thank you, Chris.